So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of this visual here, this graph that's been provided. So this is a, you know, more specifically, it's a graph question. So the x-axis of this graph is mean annual temperature. The y-axis is leaf litter mass remaining. Um, let's say we go from negative 10 to positive 10 and from 40 up to 100 on the y-axis. So I'm going to start reading all this information that's been provided to us. And then let's see how this question wants us to use the graph to help find the answer. So the question says the figure below shows the relationship between the percent of leaf litter mass remaining after decomposing for three years and the mean annual temperature in degrees Celsius in 18 forests in Canada. Okay, so each of these little dots represents a forest in Canada. A line of best fit is also shown. All right, so we see that line. So the next step here says a particular forest in Canada whose data is not included in the figure, okay, so a 19th forest basically, had a mean annual temperature of negative two degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's, let's erase some of these little marks because everything I put on here now is gonna be part of actually answering the question. And I'm gonna use red just because everything else is already black. So this, this other forest that's not included here has an annual, a mean annual temperature of negative two degrees, which means we would be, let's see, so if this is negative five, and this is zero, that means this would be negative 2.5, which means negative two, right, would be somewhere, let's call it there. Let's call that negative two. And even if I'm off a little bit, because I'm estimating here, I'm not gonna be off by that much. So that's negative 2.0. So um, let's see, based upon the line of best fit, which of the following is closest to the predicted percent of leaf litter mass remaining in this particular forest after decomposing for three years. Okay, so all I'm doing is estimating where negative 2.0 is or negative 2 is. I'm going to draw a vertical line up from there, best I can, to the y-axis or to the line, I'm sorry, not the y-axis, to the line of best fit. And then I'm going to track that and say, well, that number or that point corresponds pretty closely with 70% of leaf litter mass uh, remaining, right? So maybe I go a tiny bit above it, but it's pretty close to 70%. So now I look at my answer choices. I say, okay, cho choice A says 50%, which is way down here. And there's just no chance. It's not even close. 63%, which is kind of like here. Again, not even close. 70%, which is what I thought. So that's great. I like that. And then 82%, which is like way up here. Again, not not even close. So for sure, choice C is the best answer to this question.